Hi guys, Dominic Raab was recently appointed to the position of Lord Chancellor and Secretary of State for Justice. Now they say with great power comes great responsibility. However, Dominic Raab seems to either not know this or ignore this. He was challenged by Labour MP Carl Turner about a specific part of an act that he's demanding be repealed. The problem is that Dominic Raab doesn't know the act or doesn't seem to know the section. Have a listen to this. Well, before I ask you about giving me an example of where Section 3 has been a problem, a recent case would, would help. Clause 3, sub clause 3A states that the courts cannot expand the protection of a right unless the court has no reasonable doubt that the European Court of Human Rights would adopt that interpretation if the case were before it. Can you explain? Are you, which, which clause are you. Is it the HRA or the bill? It's the bill. That's yeah. the bill. I just wonder if you can explain why you chose to frame the, the, frame the provision in that in that section, way. Because that seems, seems repeal. That's, that clause 3, repeal. which one is it? Clause 3? Three? 3, 3A, I think it is on three my a. A brief. I've got the bill. The court can't expect, cannot expend the protection of a right, un, quotes, unless the court has no reasonable doubt that the European Court of Human we're Rights to would avoid, adapt that interpretation. I understand. Yeah. What we're trying to avoid is precisely the rights inflation happening through incremental expansions of interpretations of rights. Now, what he's talking about here is under the under Section 3 of the Human Rights Act, um, courts must interpret the law and include human rights in that interpretation. So whatever the law is, they must take human rights into account. What Dominic Raab is trying to do is to suggest that, well, what the, what the courts are trying to do here is expand on human rights. And that's not what they're doing. They're supposed to interpret the law. Now, I'm not a lawyer. Dominic Raab is a lawyer. But my understanding is the, the job of the courts under Section 3 of the Human Rights Act is to interpret the law but take into account human rights. Dominic Raab and the Tories want to undo that because they claim that there's some sort of expansion of human rights taking place through the courts. And it's important. There's a difference between the application of uh, a legal scope of a right to the facts and expanding the legal interpretation of the right itself. If we're going to change the law, it should be done by Parliament. The courts are there to apply the law. That's the crux of it. Well, is there a problem with Section? Can you give me a, a, a recent case where Section 3 of the Human Rights Act has been particularly problematic? Well, the, the as section, far as your concerns. Section 3, particularly. Um, in we're talking about the fact that you're repealing Section 3 in the yeah, bill. I so, why issue. is there a problem, in your view? about Section 3. Section 3 is often operated with Section 2. Yes, so of course, it's got an interrelationship, but give me a, give me a case I, I, where there's a problem. Off the top of my head, I can't, but I... Can but you I, write to us about that? Yeah, it's actually... And there you have it. He wants to repeal the law, but he doesn't actually have a working example of why he should change the law. Now, normally, if you want to change the law, you would say, look, we need to change the law for this reason. Here are some cases um, that, ha that are problematic. And the law needs to be changed. The act needs to be changed in order to uh, to fix this problem. But he has nothing. He hasn't a single example. Now he says, yeah, I don't have it off the top of my head. You are in a select committee. You're providing evidence about, in part, uh, an act you want to repeal. Surely you would arrive prepared with some examples that you could point to and say, we need to repeal this act because, or this section, because of these examples. And Dominic Raab didn't even think of doing that. Does he have anything on his desk? I haven't seen. Is it just a blank desk? Maybe a pen? Is this like David Davis negotiating with the European Union, turning up with nothing? This guy is the Justice Secretary. He should be nowhere near any government ministry. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.